All right, if you missed everything that happened during today's session, do not worry. We've got four minutes. We're getting you caught up on the only stocks you need to know about today. It's time for our top ten. Number ten, DirecTV. Shares are up more than 3%. Liberty Media Chairman John Malone is urging fellow billionaire Charlie Ergen to merge Dish Network with DirecTV. Malone says the deal would drive economies of scale. Rio Tinto shares of the diversified miner up 7% today. Commodities climbing for an eighth day, heading for their best run since 2010 after Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke said the economy will need accommodative monetary policy for the foreseeable future. That pushes up all sorts of assets. At number eight, we've got Bridgepoint Education. It's a for-profit college company, and the stock is surging today, up more than 20%. That's the biggest gain in more than four years. The company's Ashford University unit has received accreditation approval. The college was granted initial accreditation for five years after responding to concerns about how it operated. Dinewave, number seven today, up almost one and a half percent after its top shareholder, Sanic Musical Instruments, said it considers making an offer for the piano maker during a go shop period. Earlier this month, private firm uh, Colbert agreed to buy Dinewave. And advanced micro devices jumping more than 11 percent today. The chip maker getting upgraded to buy at Canaccord. The firm says AMD will benefit from its transition away from supplying the PC market and the new PlayStation and Xbox consoles. Those are coming out later this year. Number five, L Brands used to be known as LTD or Limited Brands. It's up about three percent after the owner of Victoria's Secret reported June comparable sales were flat from a year earlier, falling short of the estimated 2.3 percent increase for the period. Interesting here because you've got this shortfall, and yet the stock's been going up. All right. Well, um, you know, a little bit of a head scratcher here. Uh, well, actually, given what we're looking at, I'm not surprised. <laughs> How did at I all? know you were going to go there, Adam Johnson? Well, I, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what's up with the balloons, but it, it, it all looks so festive and fun. I mean, you know, come on. <laughs> um, all right, number four is Dell. Dell is trading up a fraction here. Billionaire investor Carl Icahn has issued an open letter to Dell shareholders pushing for them to request an appraisal. He tells us about his no-brainer in a first on Bloomberg interview. That's coming up in just a few moments right here on Street Smart. Carl standing by. We'll get to him right after close. And Radio Shack dropping nearly 10% on reports the company is seeking a banker to fix its balance sheet. Forget a banker, it may need a whole bank. This has been a very problem balance sheet for a long time. Radio Shack's been facing a string of uh, debt maturities and other issues. Stay tuned on Radio Shack. At number two is Progressive. It's down 1% after the auto insurer posted second quarter profit that missed analyst estimates. Progressive has found it harder to add customers after raising prices to counter higher catastrophe costs and bond yields that were near record lows. You're looking there at flow. Obviously, it's not, uh, she's not doing enough for the company. All right, we're coming up on our number one stock of the day, everyone, and it happens to be Microsoft. Shares are up about, well, almost 3% there. The tech giant is reorganizing into fewer units and promoting several executives. This move comes as the world's largest software maker works to expand in hardware and web-based computing.